Hello and welcome to this video on machine learning, where we'll be taking a look at Lewis regression. Lewis is also known as Lewis, they're essentially the same. And uh, we're really talking about locally estimated scatter plot smoothing. So what this is doing is we are basically trying to fit a curve to our data rather than simply have a, a straight line coming from linear regression. <clears throat> so we are doing a better job at representing this data by giving a curve over this entire data. And how we do this is by separating our data into different segments. Let's say we have about a thousand data points in all. If we take a span of about 10%, uh, then what we're talking about is looking at 100 data points at a given time, right? Let's uh, say we have just about 120. I think this, this particular segment is what we can take a look at over here, which is being represented. And uh, let's say we have, for argument's sake, this for this given point over here, we have in this segment, we have about 12 neighbors. And uh, these are the 12 closest points as far as that particular data point is concerned. Let's, just, let's call this A. And uh, what our regression for this particular segment is doing is, we will basically take the weighted sum of squares of all those points, all those nearest points, and when we say weighted, we are giving more weightage to points which are closest. These two will have, say, a weight of one. Now these two will have weights of two. These are further away, so you'll have weights of three and so on. And uh, based on the total weight, total sum of squares that we are trying to get to a minimum, we will have a prediction line for this particular segment, right? Then we're talking about this particular window over here, which represents, which might represent about 10% of the total data, right? And uh, in our case, probably we're talking about say 120 points and say 10% would represent, 10% would represent just about 12 points, which we have here. So nevertheless, we would basically have to compute our span that is to say what percentage of data points we, we are most interested in based on trying out our regression lines for multiple span levels, right? So we can take about 10%, we can take 5%, again with 20%, and eventually using our root mean square error, we'll try to find out which one is giving us the lowest error. That's a discussion for uh, a different, at a different level, what we're really talking about here is when we are localizing these points and uh, fitting a regression line, which is to say, let's put that over here, that this ends up being the regression line based on those points for this point A, which is about here. Now for the actual point A that we have, the predicted point is over here on the prediction line, let's say a dash. And just like that, we have, let's say this is a dash over here. Now, just like that, this is, this is our, our prediction point as far as this particular actual observation is concerned. Now we do a similar thing for each of these data points. Let's say this, this particular observation also has these 12 points as the nearest, let's say the window doesn't quite move, right? If your points are further away, then you would, for this particular point, we would still have the 12 nearest points in this window. And uh, once again, we'd compute a prediction line based on our, the weights would change. The points would be the same, but the weights would be different. So you'd have a prediction line, be somewhat more like this. And based on that, line, you would have a prediction point for that particular point, let's say B, that this is B prime, 
pretty close. And uh, similarly, we're talking about having prediction points for each of these data points. And uh, effectively, when we connect them, we have a smoother curve. Right? This itself would give us something like that. Right? And we continue this for the entire duration of the data and uh, the extent of our data. Effectively, what we'll be getting is, is something like this would be the final result of this form of localized smoothing, right? And we'll be moving the window as we look for the closest n number of points. We took 12 in this case, the closest n number of points that you have for each and every observation, right? And uh, we have a prediction line accordingly for that local region for that given point. So this is how we would be effectively reaching our curve plot right, or curve based on all these data points. The advantage of using lowest regression is really how flexible it is. And uh, it's, it's easy to explain in terms of how we are arriving at a certain prediction. What becomes difficult is that uh, it, it does take a lot of, a lot of time. You're talking about high computation costs and uh, also that you would constantly require access to the entire data when we are using this form of regression, as opposed to linear regression, which would be a lot faster. And uh, the tendency probably to overfit also would be less. <clears throat> we are talking about uh, high variance. The more, the more we go towards uh, a higher percentage of these spans, we are talking about taking more and more data points in and uh, thereby the variance might go on the higher side. <clears throat>